What is there new that she can say? I, as I understand, some people have already said they're not in support of it. So we, we are yet to, to hear the details of this, but the key things to be listening out for is what she says about the UK's future trading relationship with the EU and whether she makes any kind of uh, offer at all on a, on a possible second referendum. So this deal has been rejected three times by Parliament. She's bringing it back again. She's determined to get this thing over the line. This is the divorce deal that we're talking about so that the UK can actually leave the EU. The thing is, there's already underway a leadership campaign for you know, to replace Theresa May. She's already fired the starting gun on that and that means that it's very hard to to encourage those who hated her deal in the first place to get behind it now so the key target now is the is the labor the opposition labor lawmakers they want a customs union which basically would keep the UK within the EU's trading trading block that's been a red line for the conservatives but May has indicated in recent weeks that she's prepared to concede a bit on that so the wording of that is going to be important and then the problem is though is that you know as we've reported on numerous occasions just doing Doing the customs union probably isn't going to be enough to win over enough Labour MPs, particularly because as you offer a customs union to get Labour on side, you lose from your own side. This has been the problem with May all along, is if she offers on one side, she loses on the other. And you know, this big group of pro-Brexit Tory lawmakers who are not in the mood to budge. Yeah, so exactly my question, what votes is she going for? Are they Labour votes she's trying to get crossover, or is she trying to shore up her Conservatives? Where can she find the votes she needs, if at all? So she's probably, the, the Brexiteer votes are probably irredeemably lost. And so probably what she's trying to do is get the Labour, the Labour vote. Now, talks, as you'll remember, cross-party talks with Labour broke down last week. But there were some areas where there, there was some kind of agreement, stuff on workers' rights, environmental protection. None of that is going to get us very excited. None of that is actually going to get us over the line. What we're talking about here is the customs union, which is, you know, crucial for, for, for businesses, for, for trade and goods. And second referendum. Now, Theresa May has repeatedly said she doesn't want a second referendum, but there was an interesting hint today when the, after the Cabinet meeting, the spokesman came out and said that the Cabinet discussed all conceivable options. Now, that, that suggests that one of the options they've discussed is, is a second referendum. So it's going to be interesting to see what she puts on the table. The government is also saying that they know there have to be significant new aspects in order to get this over the line. So what they're promising is that it's something new. But of course, we have been disappointed in the past.